and uh, then began coming over in the late 70s, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ron Ackers first invited me. And That's so what I was going to ask you. I believe Ron wrote you a letter, didn't he? He did, yeah. Uh, it was, it was 79? In, yeah, 79. I got this letter, and he said, you should come to England. I was, I, was, I was astounded because he actually told me in there how much he made a year. I think he was trying to make clear that, well, this, you know, yeah, you yeah, can make yeah. good money here. Break, come on over. And I'd always wanted to come to England, so it was a perfect excuse. And, you know, he lined up. He really put on a party. He had put the word out. I don't really know how he did it, but of course, of yeah. course those days was pre-internet, pre... So That's I what suppose I was say. he got was, on the phone, I yeah. suppose, and then, you know, invited all these tattooists down, and uh, and I worked in Portsmouth, and of course, I'd already known Dennis, because he'd come over and got a big piece from me uh, mm. when I first came back from Japan. I think he came over in, I believe I opened that shop in 73 or 74, 74, and he came over soon after. And then we got to be really good friends, and he stayed along. He was around a long time. I went out to Honolulu and visited with Mike Malone because yeah, Mike yeah. had taken over. Sailor Jerry died in January of '73, so you know I had this connection, and I thought, well, yeah, if I go over there, then I can visit Dennis, and uh, and then I had such a good time doing the Portsmouth thing and meeting people. Main influence, I would say, in the very, very early days of the really direction that I wanted to go was Sailor Jerry. And did you start writing corresponding with him? Did you I him? corresponded with lots of people in those early days, Paul. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I did uh, write to him and ask him, would he do me a bodysuit? He died in 73. Mm -hmm. And then um, I heard that uh, the next man alive, or the, the man at that particular time that just blew my mind as much as Sailor Jerry was Ed Hardy. I wrote to uh, Ed and uh, he, the letter got passed over to Japan because he was tattooing Japan for a while and uh, we had a, a few exchanges on letters and I told him that I wanted to get this uh, bodysuit and uh, I was prepared to fly to Japan to get it done from mm -hmm. Ed Hardy. Yeah. But he told me to hold it there and wait until he returns back to America and opens up his new shop, which is in San Francisco in Van Ness. Yeah, yeah. So obviously I waited, we corresponded a little bit, and I turned up and just told him what I wanted and just blew his mind. In exchange of Mark, as something like, you, you know, um, loot or, yeah, e yeah. well, you know, in today's way, it's like eBay. And um, there was a tattoo machine for sale in Aylesbury. Mm -hmm. So I went down there, there was a guy in his front room, he had designs on the wall, a strange old boy he was. But when you 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 know you you know you're that young you you know you're a bit cautious of it like and I, he sold me a machine made of wood which Hanky Pank has got now in his museum yeah and um, I brought that one needle and, and then uh, my dad used to be a carpenter and everything so he built me a little bench in me back room my bedroom he fitted it all out you mm -hmm. know drew up some designs put them on the wall so I, I, anyway you know my dad set me up and I was just doing a little bit on my legs. Mm. And me nan used to live in the house with us in the front, you know, in the front of the house. Yeah. She used to go by my door, she used to tell me, you ain't doing pictures on yourself, are you, mm. son? 